What is going on, everybody? It's Taylor Roberts, and welcome to Off the Deep End. Guys, we have reached the end of our Lady Gaga deep dive, but deep dives don't ever really truly end, do they? I mean, if the artist is still making music, it still goes on. It's just not as prominent on the channel as it has been over the last couple months. Now, if you're just joining us for the first time, we've been exploring Lady Gaga's artistry through her music, music videos, and performances. And if you would like to start at the beginning of this deep dive series, there's a link right up there. You can go, it'll take you right to the very first video. Check it out. Never would I have thought in my life before I started doing YouTube that I would ever listen to Lady Gaga's albums, ever. Uh, she just didn't seem like an artist I was going to be interested in, but I am glad I did because I have so much more respect now for Lady Gaga. I mean, Lady Gaga's transformation uh, is just a slap in the face. I mean, there's there's no way you can't say from the fame era to the Chromatica era and everything in between that there isn't an evolution going on. Uh, from each album, there's an evolution going on. There's a different concept, a different look, a different aesthetic, a different sound. Um, and that's what I really love about certain artists. And that's what I really love about Lady Gaga is that she's able to do that um, and execute a, a certain era and a certain aesthetic in a way sometimes better than others. I'm not going to lie. You know, I, I've learned so much from this, uh, not only researching for the videos, for the facts down at the bottom, but from you guys, the little monsters as well that leave the facts down in the... Uh, in the comments section, so so thank you for that. Am I a Lady Gaga super fan now? Probably not. Um, am I a Lady Gaga fan? Yeah, I am. I you know Lady Gaga could drop an album next week, and I would be excited to listen to it. Uh, unlike before, to where like she could have dropped an album next week, and I just wouldn't really have cared. So I just want to kind of give you guys. Uh, I just want to let you guys know my favorite music video. Um, I think from Lady Gaga is the telephone music video. It's my favorite just because I love the outrageousness of it. I love the the color palette for it. I love the aesthetic for it. I love the song. In fact, when we talk about, you know, top three songs from Lady Gaga, uh, Telephone is probably my number one favorite song from her. It's just... I don't know. There's something about it. The vibe that it gives us. It's just fun. It's dancey. It's just it's just an overall good time. And the music video reflects that as well. And, you know, the addition of Beyonce is also a nice touch. My least favorite video is, like I said, is probably the Stupid Love music video from Chromatica. I think it's probably the worst video. Now, the reason I, I disliked Stupid Love is because I felt the video was wasn't executed correctly. I just felt like it was a bunch of people dancing in the desert and there wasn't really anything going on. Now, I read the comments and there was a lot of you that was like, well, you enjoyed the the Perfect Illusion music video and that was nothing but people dancing in a desert too. The thing about the Perfect Illusion music video that separates it from the Stupid Love music video is the way that the video was executed. Um, in Perfect Illusion, you know, we're seeing Lady Gaga, she's in the desert, she's dancing with a bunch of people, she's rocking out, she's fucking partying her ass off, and then in the very end, we see that she actually is just truly alone, and everything was up in her mind, and it's a very impactful music video, um, because it, it, it looks at people who, who have this, this version of themselves in their head, of how they think they are reflected, how they think they are viewed in life. Um, but in reality, it doesn't necessarily look like that. Feeling loved and feeling like you're you're at the top of the game and that everyone loves you, but in reality, you're just kind of alone. And it, it, it your, your reality is warped in a sense, um, if that makes sense. Now, with the Stupid Love music video, I get that it was supposed to be a bunch of tribes from Chromatica, um, fighting each other, and then Lady Gaga shows up and, you know, uses the force. <laughs> I, I get that. I get that concept of bringing everybody together to dance, um, regardless of your race, your look, your sexuality, you know, it's just instead of separating people in the groups, it's bringing everybody together under the, under the dance. I just feel the execution of the video visually, um, wasn't done well enough because I didn't understand the concept of the music video 
until I started doing research for the video. I honestly just thought it was just a bunch of people dancing in the middle of the desert in a dance battle for no fucking reason. And then Lady Gaga just shows up and all of a sudden has the force and uses the force on people and then they all dance. So really, I would say that it goes on the director of the music video who didn't execute the concept correctly um, and just did a poor job at executing it. And, and that is why. And, it, you know, we've seen Lady Gaga do this, execute the same message in the same way. The music video for Born This Way presented the same message as as the Stupid Love music video. But it was done in a way to where visually it, it worked. It, it delivered. Um, it was clear. It was concise. So that was that's kind of where I stand between uh, that argument of of the stupid love music video and the perfect illusions music video. It's just it, it, it ultimately comes down to the execution of the shots of the of the visuals um, and of the direction. But I know why you guys are here. You guys want to you guys want to hear the album ranking. So let's hop right into the album ranking. Uh, so seven albums, seven spots. Now, for those of you asking, what about the Star is Born album? Uh, I've said it before, I've seen A Star is Born uh, way before I did this deep dive series. I have heard the soundtrack before, so I had heard all this stuff before, and I didn't want to do it for this deep dive series because it wouldn't have been a true first reaction. And I obviously don't want to fake my first reactions on the channel because that's bullshit. At the number seven spot for this album ranking, I'm going to put Cheek to Cheek at number seven. Um, just because I feel like it was a side project for Lady Gaga. I get it, you know, it... It can be seen as part of her discography, but if you really break it down, it really just is a collaboration project between her and Tony Bennett. Not a solo project, which is fine, um, but I just, I can't hold the standard uh, of her, the rest of her solo projects to cheek to cheek. Also, cheek to cheek consists of pretty much covers. Um, so there's no really original work here other than Lady Gaga, other than being like, Lady Gaga has a great voice. And I feel Cheek to Cheek is is just one of those albums you put on, uh, one, if you love jazz, and two, if you just want like a chill, relaxed vibe, you know, you pour yourself a glass of wine, you're sitting at home, you get the fireplace going, throw on some Cheek to Cheek, it's just a nice kind of cool, jazzy, lounge vibe. Number six, uh, I put The Fame. Now, I, I put The Fame at number six because I thought it was a great debut album, uh, it definitely introduced us to Lady Gaga and kind of the, I just remember young being younger and the fame era um, when Lady Gaga first popped out onto the scene and her being, people being like, who the fuck is Lady Gaga? This girl's crazy, blah, 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 blah. And I think it was, like I said, it was a great way to introduce Lady Gaga, but you can definitely see throughout the series how her music has evolved and how she has improved as an artist. So the fame being her starting point, I'm putting it at number six. Number five, Chromatica. Chromatica to me was a fun album. It was a fun dance album. Uh, I know the lyrics talked about some of her personal experiences, some of the things that she was going through at the time in her life. There's no really, there's no really excuse there. Like I said, I feel like Chromatica could have been a great concept. Um, but I feel the whole thing was just kind of executed poorly. Fun album, fun songs on there. Definitely a dancey club album. But to me, that's pretty much that's pretty much it with Chromatica. Number four is Born This Way. Uh, now, Born This Way was it's a chaotic album. It's a fun album. Again, another kind of loud EDM rock, hard rock uh, aesthetic to it, and the message of Born This Way is great, you know, uh, looking at people of minorities and people of different sexualities and being like, hey, it's okay to be the way that you are. Um, it's obviously a great message. It was a great message for the time that it came out, and it still is a great message till this day. Um, the Like I said, I do feel like the album is a giant album, meaning I feel like it was made... It was produced to be heard in a stadium, to be heard at the club. It was, it's just meant to be heard live. Uh, listening to this, listening to this album through headphones or in your car, just it just doesn't do it justice. You sure can do it. 
if you want to put on Born This Way just because you want to listen to Born This Way, of course you can listen to it. But I still think that this album was meant to be heard live. Um, and that was the way that it was intended to be is is live partying your ass off with a shit ton of people. And when I watched the Born This Way concert tour uh, performance, I was right. It, I mean, that, that concert looked like it was fucking lit. Number three. We've entered the top three now. Okay. Number three, I'm putting the Fame Monster. I feel like the Fame Monster in general could almost be its own greatest hits album. Just because of the major singles we had on there. Um, and I feel like it was a, a huge leap from the fame into the fame monster sound wise. I feel like it was executed well. Um, and like I said, the, the, there's a lot of songs on the fame monster that are just iconic. Um, and I don't think anybody can deny that. Number two, I put Joanne. Uh, I feel like the whole country folk vibe that Lady Gaga gives off throughout the Joanne era is is perfectly suited uh, for her voice and, and true to her sound. Yeah, I know we got to see Lady Gaga through the crazy EDM uh, phases of from like the fame to art pop. And with the star is born, you know, allowing her voice to shine really, really well. I just feel like her voice was tailor made for this kind of style of music um even though she's got the kind of voice that fits on every kind of genre folk country country rock um that that rock sound um i feel like her voice works best on and of course most of you are smart enough to know that number one i put art pop i think art pop is probably lady gaga's best album that she's come up with uh it's fun it's chaotic. Uh, the whole execution from not only the album, but from the music videos um, were perfectly executed. The aesthetic of the whole entire era, sound design of the whole entire era was just amazing. And it, I'm not saying that because I listened to it drunk, um, because Art Pop is still the album that I will put on in my car and listen to. Um, and surprisingly, I think my favorite song off the art pop album is art pop, even though I hated it during my first listen. Now I listen to it all the time. Um, so number one is art pop and you know, who knows where we're going to go next? Uh, who knows what her, her album, her next album is, is going to be like, um, I know she's getting ready to drop another jazz album with, with Tony Bennett. Of course I'll be there when it drops. Um, and we'll be here on the channel to listen to it. So that'll be fun. But let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comments, guys. Let me know your album ranking. Let me know your favorite music videos, your favorite tracks, your least favorite stuff. You guys know what to do. Leave it all down in the comments. Make sure you like the video, guys. Share the video. Again, if you'd like to check out the Lady Gaga Deep Dive, there's a whole playlist on the channel. You can go and check it out. There's over 30 videos there. We have a Madonna Deep Dive series starting. Uh, Ariana Grande, Taylor Swift. Arctic Monkeys and uh, our past deep dives we've done has been Lana Del Rey, Melanie Martinez and uh, and Marina. If you want to get more bonus content from the Lady Gaga deep dive, there are some videos up on Patreon you can go and check out um, and more videos will be posted on Patreon as well. So if you would like to help support the channel, help support the deep dive series series that we do on this channel. You can hop on over to Patreon, uh, get access to all kinds of cool shit, uh, bonus content, live streams, new music reactions, all that cool stuff. So link is down in the description. Go and check that out if you got the time. And that is all I got for you guys today. So till next time, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you then. Hey, thanks for watching Off The Deep End. Make sure you subscribe, comment, like, and share, and feel free to explore our channel and check out some of our other videos. Remember, new videos drop every week. Take care.